Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. In this video, I'm going to do a complete case study on a push ads campaign for CPA affiliate offers. If you wanted to learn how to set up CPA affiliate campaigns, this is the video for you. I'm gonna go step by step from absolute beginner to starting up a paid ad campaign with push ads. You're gonna see the actual data from this campaign, how much I paid, how many conversions I got, all of that is going to be revealed in this video from start to finish, so be sure to watch the entire video. Also, don't forget to click that like button or subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you get notified of all my future videos. Let's get right into building this campaign. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up CPA affiliate campaigns for success. Let's do it now. Okay, welcome to the inside. Here we go. I am inside maxbounty.com. It is a CPA affiliate network. That is the first step in this whole thing is you need to get yourself a CPA affiliate network account. If you want, you can use my referral link to this network. It may speed up your process in getting accepted into this network. It is at dayjobhacks.com slash maxbounty. Now, once you're inside here, you'll have access to hundreds of offers to choose from. And today we're going to be choosing an offer here to run on Ads Terra. Ads Terra is an is an ad, ad platform. Basically, they have tons of different types of ads. They have pop unders, they have push ads, native ads, social ads, all of this stuff that you can get inside here, or social bar ads, I should say. But anyway, all of those are inside here. We're gonna set up a campaign here shortly with the $300 test. We're gonna run $300 worth of traffic to one of the CPA affiliate offers. We're gonna be using Ads Terra, like I said, but in, inside of Ads Terra, you can see here they have a traffic chart that I can go and I can search and see what kind of uh, traffic I can expect. When I did this search, you can see here I can select the type of traffic. I'm gonna be starting with a native banner or push ads, but later I'm going to maybe switch to pop under. But first, let's look at native banner. So that'll be like a pop-up like you see down in this corner here on people's computers. I'm gonna focus on desktop first. So I'm gonna switch this to desktop and I'm gonna see which country gets the most traffic. As you can see here, Germany, which is great because as an affiliate, I want to try and separate from the people who are always running US or Canada or the English speaking. Today, we're gonna to focus on an offer that requires me as an affiliate to translate my landing page, but it's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna show you that here in a second, um, how I did it. I'm gonna show you that landing page as well. So I need to find now an offer on Max Bounty that accepts banner or native pop-ups, we'll say, or even like if you wanna call them push ads, then I need to find an offer that allows that. <clears throat> on Max Bounty, you can browse and search, you can filter your searches based on your traffic type, your country, so I've already done that, so I'm not gonna go through the steps here, but you can do that here. This is the offer I've found. This is the type of offer that I'm looking for. It's a very low barrier to entry. It is basically a single opt-in, meaning I get paid. As soon as somebody signs up to this site, I get paid $2.80 per lead. Now that may seem like a little tiny bit of, uh, of money, but considering that it's getting a 43 cent earnings per click, and considering I'll probably be paying less than 10 cents a click then I think this is possible. I think I can actually make this work, assuming that the traffic is good. Now, I've never ran traffic on Ads Terra, so that is why I'm doing this case study. We're gonna show you what actually happens. You're gonna see all the data in this video, don't worry. You're gonna see everything. But if you wanna continue um, and be part of the discussion and future case studies, make sure you come in to the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum where I've already set this up as a discussion and you can see um, comments and what other people are saying and you can ask questions, you can talk about others, um, other campaigns that you may have ran on Ads Terra and we also have a full section of follow alongs here that you can see people running and you can see what's going on. So if you wanna be part of that discussion, you're welcome to come over to powerhouseaffiliate.com, okay? Let's now create a campaign now that we know the offer we know that we're approved to run it. We know it accepts Germany. It also allows pop under traffic if we use a landing page. I'm going to be using a landing page. I'm gonna show you that landing page. And of course, we wanna make sure that it is a single opt-in in this case and that it allows adult traffic because when I did my search over here, I also included adult traffic. So this will mean that my ad could actually show up on some of the adult 
dating sites, okay, or adult sites in general. So that's what that means. Some offers don't allow that. This one in particular does allow that, so I can do that with this offer. Perfect offer for what I wanna do here today. So I'm gonna grab my link, I'm gonna put it in my tracker, I'm gonna set up my landing page. Where do I get my landing page? Basically, I'm going to the templates section at Powerhouse Affiliate. You can see we have hundreds of templates here. One of them here is the Russian dating. I'm gonna just switch this to German when I put it on my uh, website. So I'm gonna set this up. All of this is explained in powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan if you wanna learn how to set up landing pages quickly and you can use these templates that we have. But anyway, in that in this case, I'm not gonna go through all that either. Just gonna show you that this is the landing page and I'm gonna show you it now. This is the landing page. I'm gonna refresh it here so the timer resets. You can see it has a timer to kind of give people the idea that they have to hurry. Let's do this now, you have four minutes. And I also have inserted the city for wherever you live. When, you're, when you visit this website, it's gonna know your IP address and it's gonna show your city. That's what's shown here. And basically it's a dating site, like any other dating site, people can join and they can chat and meet other people and all that stuff, okay? It's not an adult dating site, it's just a, a straight up dating site. They're paying um, $2.80 for every sign up, okay? I don't generally run dating campaigns, but today it just seemed to work out that way because this traffic type is, is basically catering to that niche. So we have $300 to spend here. We're gonna spend it on this campaign and see what happens. So that is the landing page. And now let's get started. I've set it all up in my tracker. CPV Lab Pro is what I'm using today. And now let's go create the campaign. So inside here, I've set up Dating Germany Max Bounty. The traffic type, we're going to be using all traffic here. So this is just basically the connection type, I mean. CPM, I'm gonna start with CPM, but I can switch later to a CPA once I get conversion data in here, or CPC, which is cost per click. I'm gonna be paying per thousand impressions. I'm gonna start with push ads, mainstream, okay? So that means basically I'm, I'm selecting adult and mainstream here. You can select which, whichever one you want, but I've combined them for more traffic. Landing page URL is the landing page tracking link that I have from my, la uh, my, my tracker. And here I can upload an image of my landing page just to speed up the process. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to select the country. Here we're selecting Germany. So I can expect about 200,000 impressions a day with my current setups. Windows style is the template I'm gonna use. There are other options here. I'm going to put my title. Keep in mind, I need to use German language here. So let's go to the translate tool. And I'm going to type in something like, Hannah wants to chat now. Something like that, okay? And we're going to put German language here. So select German. And this will be the first part of my ad and the description. I'm gonna use the exact same description from here, except um, change it a little bit. So I'm gonna keep my congruency here. I'm obviously gonna test a bunch of different ads here. That, okay, just an example here, okay? Ready, and now I need an image 192 by 192. So I'm going to use a image that would attract a click. So let's do that now. Let's go to Google Images and see if we can find a picture. So I've actually looked up common German names. Obviously, I don't know what's common over there. So I also want to check and make sure I'm using a common name. So now let's go to images, dating. Okay, found the image, added that. Now we're going to go total budget. So let's start with $300. That's what our total budget is. We're going to schedule this to start tomorrow at say 8 a.m. Okay, next, targeting. So we will select windows here and we'll start with all. And here is the daily budget that I want to change. I wanna change this to say $20 a day, just so I can keep an eye on it and not lose everything all at once. Just wanna make sure it's working. So we're gonna to stick to $20 a day and 
frequency cap. We're going to do one impression every 24 hours. That means the same person can't see the, the ad more than once a day. Advanced settings. If I had a blacklist, I could put it here. I may ask before I start this campaign to actually get a blacklist that they already know would work for this. So I, I will ask my ad rep for a blacklist before I run this and I'll paste that blacklist in here. And if I wanted to add a custom bid on a placement that's starting to convert, I can do that here, but I'll do that later, okay? So that is it for now. All right, so now I'm gonna wait for that to be reviewed and then we'll uh, check out the stats, okay? So let's fast forward a couple of days now and let's check out these stats and see where we're at with this campaign. All right, welcome to the future. Here we are after running this campaign for about 10 days. We have some data now. Let me explain what happened with this campaign and how it became profitable after day eight. So one, uh, one day it became profitable and then for a few days later it became profitable and now here we are, okay? Um, now the volume wasn't huge so I'm gonna suggest if you're gonna try and copy this campaign, maybe move it to other traffic sources and you're going to see why as we continue showing you the data. So here's what happened. Day one on Ads Terra, I made a huge mistake and I actually ended up spending $80 on day one to a dead page. That means I roughly only had $220 to run on this campaign. So $220 is basically what we had uh, if we wipe out that mistake and we have $52 left. So roughly spent about $168 US for 103 revenue. Now for anyone that runs campaigns, you know this is actually a good sign. We have lots of data and we have uh, only spent 60 something dollars for that data. So it's gonna make it very easy to optimize, especially if you're using a third party tracker, which I did in this campaign. So I was able to collect information about the placements, the best ad, the best landing page, and I'm gonna show you that now. Now keep in mind, I did update this case study all along the way inside the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum right here. You can follow along in our case studies and you'll see that on day eight, it became profitable. And there's more details in that thread and there's discussion if you want to talk there and ask questions, but I'm not gonna get into all that detail. Let's just get into the basics here. Um, we have CPV Lab Pro, that is the tracker I used and you can get it free at dayjobhacks.com slash cpvlabpro. This is what I use and yes, that is a referral link that I just shared with you. Um, and that helps me support my YouTube channel. So let's just be clear, I didn't spend $13 billion on this. Uh, there was an error again on my setup. I didn't uh, put the right cost per click, so it made it look like I spent a whole bunch of money. But like I said, we only spent about $168. We got 103 revenue. Now let's look at how we can optimize this campaign. The first thing I do on a push ads campaign is I first of all look at the targets. So in my ad link, when I put my link into Ads Terra, I was able to collect certain information from the from the platform and one of them was the target or the placement ID and as you can see these are IDs of the actual places my ads showed up in their network so I can block these placements by using a blacklist which I can now look at my data and here's what I would decide here this one here converted remember I'm paying about a penny to two cents per click here this placement was profitable so I want to keep that but this one had 700 clicks spent roughly seven or eight dollars and I only got one conversion. This is one that I would add to my blacklist. Another thing I look at is the click-through rates on my ads. So click-through rate CTR here. You can see one here, 236 people showed up to my landing page from my advertisement, but only, well, none of them clicked through. So it's a 0% click-through. That is clearly a loss, and we, we wanna eliminate those and add them to a blacklist. Other things you look at here, low click-through rates, or even insanely high click-through rates, sometimes indicates it's actually fake traffic. And I don't see anything that's too worrisome there on, on this right now. So you can see I have some placements going here. So let's go and look at how I did that. If I come in here, you can see I added a bunch of placements to the blacklist now, so that will help me in profitability. Another great feature inside Ads Terra is that I can also bid um, on certain placements at different bids. So I did find two placements that converted well for me. So I actually increased the bid to two cents. I know that sounds super cheap. It is super cheap traffic and it actually converts. So 
That is the beauty of push ads. That is why people are attracted to them and you can pretty much run anything. But keep in mind, you are constantly, constantly having to look at these placement IDs. So it's not a set and forget kind of campaign because there will always be new targets popping up that you have to block or increase the bids on. Okay, so that's the first thing I optimize for. The next thing I want to do is I want to look at the ads. Let's see which ads actually converted. So if I click on here, I was also collecting the ad ID and you can see one ad here has the highest conversion rate. So we want to make sure that our ads are similar to this ad. Let's look at which ad that was. Ends in 126. So you can see here, this one here, this is the ad that converted the best. And it basically says, um, you have three messages. Would you like to chat? And then they click on it. So it's kind of like a high click through picture. Nothing special here, just a, a, a indication that they can chat with people. So they click on it and then they go to the landing page where they click through, okay? So this would be the type of ad that is working. You can see I've turned off the other ones and now we have this one running. Um, next thing we're gonna look at is the landing page. So I tested three landing pages here so far and you can see one clearly, um, well actually two of them here clearly are better than this one which is page two. The landing page um, that I'll do, or what I'll do now is I'll run both of these at 50% and I'll eliminate page two. So now we have um, the, the best two landing pages split testing against each other. Next, I wanna look at device information so that I can optimize for device. So I can do that again here coming over here or the operating system. And we can see all this information that I can target. So let's look at the operating system. And you can see here that most of the traffic came from Android. So when I first set up this campaign, we set it up on Windows. I spoke to the ad rep who mentioned, well, you should actually try it on mobile because we don't have a lot of Windows traffic. So that is why I switched it over. And now you can see it's all Android. Now to make it uh, even more interesting, you can actually come in here and you can look at the version of what Android version was converting the best. And you can see here op uh, operating system version 11 converted the best. That's uh, here 0.5 and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So you can see if I target just those versions, I might have a better opportunity to optimize this campaign and lim eliminate some of the other things here. So you can actually do that here again in the advanced settings or actually in the targeting, you can come in here and you can see you can actually select the browsers and later you can select the versions and everything. So you can do operating system, browser, everything. And so that is what I'm using this third party tracker for because I'm, what I'm doing is I'm essentially finding the best place to run this ad. And once I get that information, I know it's converting on Android. It's mostly newer versions of Android. Um, the, the traffic is cheap. It's in Germany. Now I can go to other places like Propeller or Zero Park or other places that allow me to target those places and start running similar ads, similar offer on their platform. So I'm scaling through uh, different platforms. So in theory, by selecting the best placements, the best landing page, the best ad, changing the bids on the best placements and all of that stuff, this should go profitable over the next few days. In fact, it did on day eight after making some of the changes. Now the challenge is trying to scale it and getting more traffic. So there's a lot more information you can go through when using a third party tracker like this. You can start looking into the referring domains. You can start targeting placements on other traffic sources with those referring domains perhaps, or you can buy ads through other platforms that allow you to target URLs such as Google Display Network. So if your campaign is actually allowed on those types of traffic sources this helps you in scaling further that's about it for this video i'm going to do more case studies like this if you like this type of video please like comment share whatever it is that you do